Now that you have finished playing your game of Monopoly, let's see if you can work out who the real winner of the game was. Firstly, you will need to calculate your equity. In other words, how much you actually have got that belongs to you. You'll need to take your total assets that you calculated earlier and subtract the total amount that you owe to other people or your liabilities. This will then give you the amount of equity or how much you are actually worth from the game. Once you've done that, you can then calculate your profit or loss. Remember to calculate your starting capital as the 500 Rand and then subtract this, what you have at the end. That will tell you whether you've made a profit if you've got more than 500 Rand or a loss if you've got less. Remember that we are not only looking at cash, but we are using your assets as well in this calculation. I want you now to consider, if you made a profit or a loss, what were the incomes or the expenses that might have contributed to this? If you give it some careful thought, hopefully you will realize that your rent income would have been your main income source, and your expenses would have been the rent that you may have had to pay to other players, you might have been charged interest if you borrowed money, and you would also have had to pay for things along the way. So, what is accounting? Obviously, we don't all need to keep track of our Monopoly games, but if you run a business in real life, you will want to track your accounting records in the same way as what you've just done for the game. You want to keep track of both your money, in other words, your cash inflows and outflows, as well as the profits, to see whether it was actually worthwhile running the business or not. Money for the business can be obtained from a couple of places. There are two main sources of capital. The first is the most obvious, where you put your own money into the business. On the other hand, the money can also be borrowed, either from banks or from friends. This money will then be used to buy assets. When you run a business, you will usually need a number of assets. These could be things like a laptop computer, a cell phone, just to get you started. If you are starting on a slightly bigger scale, you might even need some land and buildings, property or a shop. You might need a delivery truck. In addition, you will also need things like your stock and you will need cash to keep the business going. In order to buy all of these assets, you will use your capital that was invested in the business or money that was borrowed. This will then be used to generate an income for your business. This is the whole purpose of running a business of your own anyway. If you don't have assets, you will generally find it very hard to generate some kind of income. And so this is why getting the right sources of capital is vitally important right from the beginning. This then leads us to understand the accounting equation. Since this is the foundation of all the accounting that you are going to learn, please make sure that you understand it very, very carefully already now. Firstly, you should understand that assets are things that the business has control over and uses in order to generate an income. Assets would include the cash that you've got, as well as equipment such as your computer and your cell phone, as well as vehicles like a delivery truck and any land and buildings that you may have owned. It would also include things like your trading stock. On the other side of the equation, we'll show where the money came from in order to buy those assets because all the money used to buy these assets must have come from somewhere. As mentioned previously, this might be from the owner what the owner invested in the business initially. We refer to this as the owner's equity. Equity basically means the value that the owner has got tied up in the business. To this, you would add the liabilities or any money that is actually owed back to someone else. 
Try now to do exercise 4.2 based on this equation. Pause the slideshow and continue only when you are done. Right, now that you have finished exercise 4.2, let's see how well you did. The first one says if the owner invested 5,000 Rand in a business and 10,000 Rand is borrowed, what are its assets worth? Well, on the one hand, you've got owner's equity being 5,000 Rand and you know that your liabilities are 10,000. That means that your assets must total 15,000 Rand. All you do is you add your equity and liabilities together to get assets. Number two. If a business has assets worth 10,000 Rand and liabilities of 2,000, what is the owner's investment in the business? In this case, we know that all the assets are 10,000 but we borrowed 2,000, so how much did the owner have to invest? This must have been 8,000 Rand, which is the difference between the assets and the liabilities. Remember that assets equals equity plus liabilities. So mathematically, to work out equity, you would simply subtract liabilities from the assets. Number three, if a business owns things worth 20,000 Rand, but only has equity of 14,000 Rand, how much does it owe to others? Well, if 14,000 Rand was invested by the owner, and they have assets of 20,000, that means the difference of 6,000 Rand must have been borrowed from somewhere else. Hopefully now you have a good understanding of how the basic accounting equation works. What is meant by assets, what is meant by equity, and what is meant by liabilities.